channel. Uh, today we are working on programming challenge 5 in chapter 10. In the book, starting out with Java. And this programming challenge, uh, they say, we have to modify this class, a payroll class. The payroll class um, they gave us uh, this class and how to create it in the book. It's quite simple class. You would create a payroll class that has a, a name, an ID number, a hourly um, worked, how many hours the person worked, and the hourly pay as fields. And you create uh, getters and setters for for the class. Uh, plus, you create um, a constructor uh, for this class. Uh, it, it's a simple class. Uh, so they want us to create exception classes for the setters, set a set, the methods that would set um, those fields, like set name like set id set uh, our hours worked or set uh, hours uh, uh, pay hours so we have to check uh, those uh, methods if the user um, provided the correct uh, data and um, they say if the if the person passes an empty string for the name, it should throw an exception. And um, we have to check all the methods. So we'll create uh, a class, a custom class, a custom exception class called invalid name. It would uh, extend exception. Uh, we will say invalid, we will say empty name that is invalid and <clears throat> we will uh, create another constructor and this time it will accept name and uh, we will pass uh, this argument to the constructor uh, the name cannot be empty so this uh, would be the first uh, exception class that we have to write uh, the second exception class that we have to write is the is the ID. If the ID um, is the ID number is less than zero or equal to zero, then we should throw an exception. So we will create another class called invalid ID. And we will we will extend exceptions, and um, it will basically be the same the same thing that we did earlier. So to, to save time, I will complete all the exception classes that is required uh, for this programming challenge, and I will, I will be back. All the, uh, all the classes that was required. Um, here is the exception for the name. If the name is empty, we throw this exception. Here is for the ID. If the ID is is negative or equal to zero, we, we throw this uh, this exception. Um, here is hourly pay. 
um, if the hourly pay is no, it is uh, hours worked. Um, if the hours worked is uh, negative or is greater than 84, um, we, we throw this uh, class, this exception. And lastly, um, our hourly pay. If the hourly pay is negative or is greater than 25, we throw this, uh, this class. So now we have to actually do the the current assignment for this programming challenge which is which is to create um, an exception class except we have to throw exceptions for uh, the the setters uh, methods for the um, for the payroll class so we have to implement the classes that we created uh, first uh, thing we will start is the set name for the uh, payroll class. So we will throw uh, the invalid name here and we will only throw this exception if the, the name uh, is empty. If the name is empty, we throw the invalid name and we will pass the offending variable here. And otherwise, if there is a name uh, passed uh, to this uh, constructor, then we will set the name. Um, we go to the next uh, um, method, which is uh, set ID number so we have to throw invalid id here and um, they said if the id uh, number that is passed here is is less than or equal to zero if it is negative or equal to zero then we have to throw this exception invalid id and we will pass the ID number. Copy this. We go to the next one, which is hours worked. Uh, we will throw hours worked uh, a class and um, if the hours worked is less than zero um, or it is uh, greater than 84 we will throw this uh, exception hours worked is less than zero or hours uh, worked is greater than 84 then we throw the exception and we will pass hours worked Otherwise, we will just uh, we will just set the hours worked field, and um, lastly, uh, set uh, hourly uh, pay. We have to throw uh, hourly pay uh, exception here and um, uh, it is if the hourly pay is negative or hourly pay is greater than 25 then we have to throw the exception invalid hourly pay and we will pass the hourly pay variable otherwise we will just uh, We will just uh, set hourly pay to hourly pay. So we we um, checked all the exceptions for all the methods for the payroll class, which uh, 
uh, they wanted for the assignment. So we go to the the main class that we will use to test uh, the methods that we uh, wrote here. So we will create a try and catch. But we have to catch uh, four exceptions here. We we'll say invalid name or invalid ID or invalid um, hours worked or um, invalid uh, pay and all of them will throw the exception here if there is any exception so we have to set all four uh, methods uh, we say payroll uh, set set name we'll say James set um, ID number one set um, hours worked uh, 40 set um, hourly pay let's say 12 and um, we will just print all the information here to to string so we will run the program and see if everything is working fine everything is working fine so we have to change some information we will change the name if we don't provide any name for the set name method it should give us exceptions it should throw an exception error and the name which is empty uh, cannot be empty so the set name exception works how about the set ID number if we give uh, a negative number it should uh, catch that as well How about zero? It should catch it two. Okay, so we'll change it to one. Set hourly um, hourly worked. So they said uh, the condition that we put for this method was if it is negative um, or um, if the hourly worked uh, is hours worked is greater than 84 so let's set to 85 first uh, a, uh, 86 and uh, 85 yeah it should catch uh, this uh, this method The hours worked 86 cannot be negative or greater than 84. Um, how about if we change to negative? We will check that as well for this method. So this uh, works, so we'll say we'll change it to 40 and for the last method set our repay uh, the condition that we set, we set was if it is negative it will throw an exception 
uh, or if it is greater than 25. So we'll start to negative 1 for hourly pay. Uh, the hourly pay negative 1 cannot be a negative or greater than 25. So it was set to 26, which is greater than 25. As you can see, it, it catches uh, two. Um, the hourly pay 26 cannot be negative or greater than 25. So we accomplished, uh, we solved what they wanted for this programming challenge. Um, so thank you for watching. And if you guys uh, think uh, this is helpful, uh, please like uh, the video, uh, comment, uh, if you have any questions and subscribe if you want to see similar videos thank you for watching and i will see you next time